Evening YouTube. So here's the deal. I'm stuck here at Walmart with the wife and kiddo and my mom. Um, it's Black Friday. They're wanting to do the shopping thing. I'm wanting to do the ham radio thing. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana, and I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to program an analog repeater onto this BTEC 6x2 or 6x2 DMR radio. So let's take a look at how to do that. Alright, so first I just turned it on. It's powering up. And that's all my stuff for home. Okay, so there's a repeater here in town on the water tower. It's on 444.425, I think. Um, I think it's got like a 114 point whatever tone to get in it. So let's look and see how to do that. So I'm already in. Okay, switch so you're in VFO mode. And just type in the frequency you're after. Okay, from there, hit menu. Settings, and we're going to channel settings. And here, we're going to fill out all this stuff. CTC is just the, oh, let me show you where I'm at. This is for the transmit tone, and the R is for the receive tone. We're going to put the tone in there. Oops, it was already on it. On uh, 114.8, which is what that tone is. Getting a few weird looks from these people here. Walmart. Oh, Black Friday. Okay. Hit back. Uh, channel type. Make sure you tell it you're going to do analog. And it will tell you your function is analog. Transmit power. I'm not sure how far away it is, so I'm just going to set it at turbo. You can put it wherever you need to. Oops, hit back. Bandwidth, it's analog, so make sure you're on wide. If it were DMR or digital, it would be. Alright. Uh, receive frequency. So that's already set because I just typed it in there. And then hit. P2 to get back. Transmit frequency. Oops, I think it might have already been there. Let's see. It's, what did I say? It was 444, so you're going to go to 449. Oops. 449.4250. Confirm. Okay, if it gives you that, you just have to put another zero in there. All right, so I got that in there, and then hit P2 again. Uh, you can name it. So here, oh, not there, you can't. All right, um, all that stuff you don't really need. Okay, you're gonna tell it to make it a new channel. I'm gonna put it on channel, we'll go with 96. Confirm. And you can name it. So I'm going to name this Slidell Water Tower, I guess, or Slidell. Um, just so you know, this is the old school kind of thing. So to do that, for the S, for example, if you look, you have to hit the 7 four times to get an S. So S, I'm going to do this and see over it. L, I, D, Wait a second for that to free up. E L L for a space. Just hit that star where you got that little underscore thing. And I'm just gonna go. I'll put a W after it so we know it's a water tower. My kiddo's trying to call me while she's Black Friday shopping. All right, this is the zone. Set it to the zone analog. Confirm to save, and it's saved. All right, 
after you finish that, it'll be right there on that. And what we're going to do, pause that to turn the camera around. I had to call my kiddo back real quick. She's got questions about her Best Buy purchases, so let me turn this around and see what we can get. Okay, so I'm getting a few weird looks here at uh, the Walmart. Let's see if this radio works. K5 ATA testing. All right, does it not look like I can hit the repeater from inside Walmart, so I might be out of luck there. I'll try it outside. Yeah, that's why I'd rather do my ham radio right now. Let's see if it works. I got outside. K5 ATA testing. So I wasn't able to hit the repeater from Walmart, but um, got it home. I'm outside the house there. I said we were on Black Friday shopping. It's actually Thanksgiving Thursday. They all just wanted to go Black Friday shopping on Thursday, which makes no sense to me. But whatever. It should be sacrilege to shop on Thanksgiving. So anyway, let's test it out. So here it is. K5 ATA. Testing. One, two. Testing. And you could hear that squelch trail, which means they got it programmed right. I'm not sure if anybody's going to respond to us or not. But anyway, at least that's how you program an analog repeater into the BTEC DMR6X2 radio using the keypad. So, thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and this has been your Ham Radio Tech Tip.